Yeah. Oh, I almost knocked that over. Alright guys, so hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah Super and in today's video I'm going to be preparing for spring semester. If you guys didn't know, I'm a college student. I go to a community college. I'm technically a sophomore in college and I'm getting ready for my last semester at community college before I transfer to a big four year school. I'm really excited for this semester because as you guys know, I recently did change my major, which if you guys wanna see a video on why I did that, if you have any questions for me about community college, transferring, yada, yada, whatever, make sure you go check out that video. I will leave a link to it and I'll leave a card up here and a link to be down below. You guys have really been giving me positive feedback on that video, which, Makes me very happy because I was really nervous about posting that for some odd reason. I don't know why. I don't really take like change and stuff very well. So it was a big step for me and I'm really glad you guys are liking the video and a lot of you guys are related to me in the comments and I really appreciated that. I don't even know what day it is and my phone's nowhere to be found. Okay, It's currently Saturday, January 23rd. My classes start on the 25th. Um, this semester, because of, you know, Miss Rona, uh, I only have one class that meets Per week I'm taking three classes total, which is like I think nine or ten credits total. I'm taking elementary calculus, which is a Monday and Wednesdays from 7 to 8.30 I believe at night. I'm taking a psychology class, I'm not sure what the name is, and I'm also taking a um, English class that's required to get my associate's degree. So. Yeah, I have three classes a semester. I'm not really worried about that. I'm only really worried for the elementary calculus because uh, I'm not a math girl at all. So that's gonna be interesting. But I really want to boss up this semester and like actually really apply myself really hard because as you guys know, last semester was just not it for me. If you saw that video, you just know it was not, was not it. Still made the honors list though, so purr, but <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple different things I wanna do today. I guess we're gonna start out with I guess my workspace. So as you guys know, my desk used to be in this back corner of my room back here. I moved this back there, so it's kind of like not really organized right now, so just don't roast me for that, but I moved my desk to be right here. It's literally right next to my bed, which at first I was kind of like, this is a safety hazard because like my candle and like cloth that could burn and like, you know, catch on fire, but you know, whatever. Um, I just have two journals up here. This is my YouTube journal. This is like my daily planner. I have a crystal right here that my friend Phoenix got me a long time ago, so thanks Phoenix. Um, so I just keep that right there. I also have a candle because you guys know I always have to have a candle burning. I have this laptop stand, which y'all, I got this last semester. It literally changes the game. For school, I feel like my posture is so much better. And when I'm on Zoom classes and stuff, it's just like a really good angle. Okay, so <laughs> there's that. And then um, I also have this organized from Target. It used to be hanging up right there actually, but I hang up my necklaces and stuff there now and the random tiara I have. Uh, but I just have this leaning against the wall right here with my pens, stapler, lip balm, everything. I need to organize it though because it does not really look very aesthetic right now. I have this salt lamp which Julie got me for Christmas so shout out to Julie I just love looking at this and just being around it because it gives me like good warm energy I don't know if that makes any sense I have my Alexa on a candle stand which is kind of random but I love her so she's really useful when I'm asking for like the weather and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff and then I have this I'm pretty sure this is like a pencil holder it says you are lovely it's black marble which kind of speaks to me and it's like rose gold text and um, right now I just have my iced coffee in it I don't really uh, hmm. yeah we're not gonna talk about that all right, so the second part of this video is kind of focusing on my technology that I have. Um, so I've had this computer for a long time and I've had this clear case on it for forever, but I wanted to kind of spice it up with my computer because, you know, I've had this for a long time and I'm one of those people who honestly, it sounds really stupid, but when I get a new case for something, like it really motivates me to use it more. So I actually went on Amazon and I will link the case I got down below, but I got a new case for my computer. And I bet you guys are thinking, Savannah, why'd you get another pink case for one of your devices? Because literally everything I own is pink. It's actually a problem. Um, but I actually really went different, guys. And I got a black case for my computer. So, to switch it up, because um, this computer is like the rose gold pink one, and then it's like the keyboard and stuff is black and the screen is black, so I thought having like an all black moment would be cute, fun, and fresh. And this one also comes with a keyboard protector and stuff like that because I used to have on a clear one but I just used it for so long that it kind of started peeling and stuff and now there's like stuff inside my keyboard and I just really don't like that. This laptop is very expensive and I can't be getting crumbs in the keyboard so I'm gonna put this new case on it to kind of spruce it up and then we'll get into being on my computer. Fun fact putting on this cover took so long it's kind of embarrassing but honestly guys I totally recommend buying a new case if you can 
mine was only like 10 11 dollars and it really made such a big difference in how my computer looked so 10 out of 10 recommend but definitely make sure you look at the directions on how to put it on right because i took uh, way too long all right so let's unbox this i don't know why this pen's here okay so i take it this is going to be the top part i'm assuming Ooh, look at the keyboard yes girl okay looking legit now and let's open up my computer put it on all right so i, I want to like wipe it off or something this is literally so disgusting i'm really sorry but all right now that i did my very ratchet keyboard cleaning we're just gonna put this on all right all right so we have that on Ooh, feels good oh i just realized i was typing close this now and i'm gonna put the bottom piece on and let's flip it over All right guys, that took me an embarrassingly long amount of time, but I put the case on. I kind of love it, not gonna lie. Like I kind of obsessed with it. So now that I have that settled, I feel like it's just like a clean slate, you know? Like it just looks, looks so nice. Not that it really matters. But now that I did that, I'm gonna get my iPad and I'm going to go on to my classes and I'm going to look through my syllabus, syllabi, and kind of write stuff down to take notes. So I'll just do a little montage of that. I also just want to apologize for my appearance and my energy in this video. It's very weird because I had work this morning and I came home and literally filmed this video because I love you guys and I care about you and I want to start posting on a scheduled time. So yeah, but anyways, um, basically I'm just making kind of a to-do list slash important information I need to figure out and know by the time classes start on Monday. Basically just writing down what textbooks I need, the required materials, kind of having a schedule of when I need to attend these classes, which as I said earlier, only one of my classes I actually need to go to, and just taking other notes of things I need to do before Monday. So one of that was like downloading Google Chrome. Um, I had to re-download Canvas on my iPad and just doing a whole bunch of kind of little tasks just to make sure I'm prepared, you know? Gotta show up to the first day prepared. Logging into Canvas after all this time kind of hurt, but you know, we gotta get back to the grind, y'all. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. I just read through all three of my syllabi or whatever they're called, syllabuses, I don't know. And basically, I just need to get a MyLab math code, which if you don't know what MyLab, my lab math is you're lucky but i have to get one of those codes because pretty much my whole entire math class is going to be on that it's like an online textbook kind of thing for my english class i need to get two books which i'm going to try to find those online for free because your girl's not trying to spend money on books and then for my psychology class i forgot to mention it's more of like a psychology career class not necessarily like a specific like psychology course because i've taken a couple of those already so i just need to um access our classroom and our books are in there so i think i lucked out with textbooks this semester um i am nervous about the my lab math code because those things can be like a hundred to plus dollars just for one code so let's hope it's not too expensive but yeah i'm going to now go onto canvas and kind of make it cute fun and fresh aesthetic wise and then go onto my ipad and make some new notebooks in good notes Also, this is just me downloading Google Chrome, you know, just doing the thing. I honestly, it, it's the salt light lamp is just really speaking to me. Like, the vibe it creates, chef's kiss. All right, so if you guys watched my last um, semester prep vlog, you guys know I love to go on color hex and change my class colors based on this. So what I think I'm gonna do is I've been really loving brown lately. So I think I want to make one of my classes brown. I like this like chocolate color. So let's go ahead and copy this one. I'm going to make math brown just because I know I'm going to need like I'm actually math is more of like a red vibe, but I'm not going to use red. So let's go ahead and delete this. You can't see what I'm doing. Delete that. Command V and my math is this nice chocolate brown. I just sped this up to save you guys some time. You kind of know how to do it already. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the iPad out. My favorite time. All right, and it matches my sweatshirt and how cute. So we're gonna go into good notes. Face ID, can you see me? You can't see me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to 
good notes and good notes is like my preferred um way to take notes and stuff for class so here i am in good notes i'm making a folder for each of my classes so this is my math folder i wanted to add little cute stars in the title so basically what i was doing was going on google typing in star copy and paste symbol copy a symbol off a website full of symbols and just pasted them into my uh pasted them into the title of the folders i made a folder for each of my classes and then i also made folders for each semester so i just added all my folders into the semester folders i also did one for the last fall and last spring semester just so everything was organized you know we love an organized ipad but good notes is really just superior i love the notebooks i just made some custom ones for each of my classes this is my math one i'm making one for i think this was english yeah and then i also made one for psychology but i sped it up to save you guys some time because you know you only need to see me do it once but i'm showing you three times because you know gotta be extra and then in this clip, I basically, one thing I love about the iPad is a side-by-side -side feature. It's, I think it's called the multitasking feature. I don't know. I don't work for Apple, so I couldn't tell you. But basically what I'm doing is I'm in my Canvas app and just importing all of my syllabi into each of the designated folders for the class. So my math one went in my math folder, my English one went in my English folder, so on and so forth. My English had actually a couple documents, so I just put all of those in there just so I have them on hand. Um, for the whole semester, you know, have everything in one place. It's just the beauty of good notes and just having an iPad in general. 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, so I just went in and completely organized all of my stuff for this semester, um, just for string 21, and I made the folders look like this. Um, and to change the layout, instead of having the folders just hanging there, I just clicked this button in the top. Oh, you can't see it. This like three bar button in the top corner, you can change the layout. I kind of like this list view better. I don't know if you can really see that very well, but. All right, so I downloaded Google Chrome. I got my good notes organized and I got the part on my computer. The last thing I'm gonna do is just go onto my website that I get books off of. Um, it's like e-book.com or something like that. I'll leave a link down below, but I saw this TikTok where they get like books for free, like re like regular like leisure reading books for free, and I'm gonna see if this book I need for my English class is on there, so let's do that. This website I'm using I found off of a TikTok, lol, but basically there's just a whole bunch of free books on there. It's more for like leisure books, like I redownloaded the whole Twilight series on my iPad and I've been rereading that and absolutely loving it lately, but besides that, I'll leave a link down below. It's a free website, you just make an account and you can download literally any book that comes up when you search it. So 10 out of 10 recommend the website, it's linked down below. All right, so I just found the book. I'm gonna open it in Good Notes, and then I'm going to bring it to Spring 2021, my literature class, and bada boom, bada bing, open it up in there. So there it is. Um, yeah, it looks kind of ratchet because it's a PDF. Like it doesn't look like a book book, but girl, for free, I don't even care. Okay, guys, after like 30 minutes of trying to freaking figure out my username, my textbook's $104. Pain is what I feel. Pain. Uh. All right, guys. So I finally figured out my math lab thing. So that pretty much checks off all of my boxes for my to-do list today. I'm going to call it quits because I still do want to enjoy the last two days I have without doing any homework or anything or classwork. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. But I hope that watching this video got you guys in the right spirit, in the right mood to prepare for this new semester. I know I'm excited to kind of be back on a schedule and like back on like a strict like i have to do this when then there kind of schedule because i feel like winter break i've definitely just been like sleeping and just not really being my most productive self but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below what classes you're taking this semester i would love to know and yeah make sure you guys come back to my channel every sunday at 10 a.m eastern time because i will be posting every sunday at that time i hope you guys have a fantastic amazing semester if this is your first time ever seeing my videos please make sure you hit that subscribe button because i would love for you to subscribe and yeah i keep clicking this pen i need to eat something so we're gonna end the video here bye okay